How's everybody? Good? Good. We're, uh, we're heading over to Root Rot Ronnie's. He's got a, he had a tree come down. In that big wind we had. So, there's the tree that come over. See, there's their house right here, Shebango. It's not, it didn't smash nothing. He, I don't know, he's got a horseshoe, golden one. A great big golden one. You know? I remember when I first went there, and most of you know the story of that. I, I just, I was like, Ron, you've got root rot everywhere here. He's all, yeah, I know, whatever. You know, they were just so happy to have their little cabin in the woods. They weren't cutting nothing, and I don't blame them. But I, I just don't, I, the man's been living right, and his wife has too, because nothing has hit their house. And we're talking big second growth, friends. 150 foot, you know, three foot on the stump, like big, tall second growth. <laughs> He's never been tagged, not once, nothing. <laughs> I love the guy, Rot, Root Rot, he's great. I hope his wife's feeling better. She, she busted her leg up a bit there, so she's getting better. And uh, you know, when you get on in ages, uh, it, it it's a little tougher on the, the healing, friends, when you get older on the bones, you know, that's a fourth gear. Let's go to three, there we go. I don't mind a little lug here and there, but not up a hill. That's no good. There we go. Um, so we're, I'll see you at Root Rots. He's got a lot of bucking to be done there too. Never mind this tree that's going down, but we got a big dirty uh, tree to cut down here too. Not just the one that fell over, but the one that, that's beside it. I'll show you here in a minute. We're just turning. Okay, friends. It's not very often that old Billy Ray gets to shout out a product, but I am gonna tell you something right now. And uh, it was something that Weaver and I did a few years back, and I'm really glad I did it with them. Um, they're just, they're a good, good company. I, I love Weaver. Uh, they've been around forever. Now, you guys know what I'm going to talk about right now. <laughs> Excuse me. It's this sucker right here. Now, if you're doing any uh, uh, falling or, or any work out in the bush, it doesn't even have to be in the bush. It, it could be on a job where you're just rolling around, uh, taking care of small trees, like, like falling or scrubbing out or doing whatever, I'll tell you something. This has been a huge thing for me. I love this little setup. It's got a chest mount right here, like this. I just put one up, just like that. I actually put another little hole in it because you know, big barrel, barrel chested here, you know. Like, gotta have them. You know, <laughs> anyways, it didn't fit me, so. So I just, I love this thing, love it. This, this thing is dead, right? Just dead. Bang, I, I just, honestly, friends, I, I love it. It's always right there. I used to throw my freaking ax from tree to tree, but not no more. And, and I'll tell you, once you get used to that, I love it. Okay. Let's go down, see what we got. Power saw, axe, and wedges. Everything's there. I don't need my gas and oil down there because I'm full. I am full. Let's shut this here. So, they had one fall over, friends. So, we got to buck the root off it. And then we got what we got. Oh, here's the missus. Let's say hi to her. Hey. So, there's the tree that come over. See, there's their house right here, Shebango. And the wind came out of this way, friends. It came, and you can see there's a lot of sky this way, okay? So it come and it ripped this sucker right off the stump and down into the, into the bushes here. So this ground is a bit rough. I may even, I may even go this way, friends. Let's, let's, let's turn you guys like this. There. And we'll walk down here. See, we, we did, yeah, this is the road. See this? We fell this one off the house one day. He says he's got a dead cedar in here too or something freaking thing here. We can get at. Let's go down in here. The ground is really soft. Over the years, friends, we've been here a long time. There's a couple of potatoes or whatever the heck that is. Sweet potatoes. Look at that. Cool. It's chilly. 
Sounds like a bit of rain. See that pile of firewood down there? Big pile of firewood. Oh, look at that tree. Look at that sucker. We better go buck that off the root ball. You don't want to hit no uh, rocks, friends. So, yeah, it, it's, there, there's that big daddy right there. We got to find a hole for it. And I think I see it right here. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to come through here, I guess. So here's the one that fell down. I think what I may do, friends, is just crack this sucker right off the stump right now. You know what I'm saying? I, I just may. Now I got Harvey's uh, saw here, but what, what I may do, I'll go up and take a look. Maybe I'll cut that right off the stump right there right now. Uh, it doesn't seem to be loaded. When you got trees down, friends, it's always good to come up and take a look. See the dirt flies up into the tree, up onto the stump, see? So you, you, this'll be, there'll be rock in here. You gotta be careful. You'll take care of your chain. will get rusted out, right? Or dusted up. You don't want that. This was water. There is root rot here too. Let's investigate the roots. Look at that root right there. Root rot right there. See, there it is. That is root rot. It, it's here, friends. Like, like, look, see, there it is. But that's not terrible, but it's in there. Yeah, see, oh yeah, there it is. Complete root rot. So, so that, that doesn't help the old girl, friends. But I can guarantee you, I'll bet you it won't be far up the stem. Friends, I come up and take a little chip out of the top, like a mini, mini little undercut, just for travel. This is the compression side, right? So I just take a little sliver and knock it out of there. dry and tall and big and tired it's over for it you can see it there's another one over there see it but it's got some craziness going on right there we may have to go up the hill but anyways we're going after this one it's not a, it'll probably fall on its own but we got a tight tight shot between them two cedars and that's where it's got to go even if it smacks old alders it's too short for anything to hit the neighbors or even even two tree lengths, you know what I mean? Like if I hit something out there and if it goes toward the neighbors, we still got room. Let's go attack this thing. Good morning. So uh, I share briefly here a little bit about low side and high side, friends, on the, on the trees. Uh, I've talked about it lots on this channel. There's two low sides and two high sides. Low side and high side, there's low part of the grade 
but then there's also low and high side of the tree. If the tree's leaning like this, the low side is where my gums are flapping. Right there. High side, up there. So you can, right? So this is an interesting scenario here, actually. This isn't just whackety whack and down she goes. She's tied into the cedar. So unfortunately, a guy's got to hang on the stump a bit here so that this comes out of that cedar and feed it. You got to feed this tree into that hole. We're shooting a gap. I'm not wiping out those beautiful big cedar trees. This saw is a little bit hungry. I knew it would be. That's a fresh grind. I'll put you guys here for the undercut and we'll get rolling. I'm gonna stay on the high side of the stump. Uh, really what, so here's high side. I talk about high side and low side, okay? The tree is leaning out to the road. So that is the low side of the tree there. We're on level ground. It would say that it would be nice to, because of the, the house is up there, the target is up there. It would be nice to fall the tree from this side so that you can see your holding wood. You know you're all good instead of taking a chance and thinking. Anyways, it's tied into this cedar a little bit, as you'll see. So I'm not gonna hang out under there. That's not a good spot for me to hang. I'm gonna hang on the high side of the tree, not the high side of the ground, so to speak. Does that make sense, friends? Okay, so that's the reason I'm doing that. The tree is bent right over there. And I'm not hanging out in between these two trees. I'm not doing it. I'll check my wood and it'll start to walk before I got to worry about cutting any corners off. So let's do this. You got to learn to cut trees from both sides of trees of, of the stump, friends. Just because, you, you know, everybody's used to walking up to a tree and, and cutting a sucker down like this. You know what I mean? We all think this is, this is you know, like this, right? This is how saws are designed with the handle here. Well, you got to learn to cut trees from both sides. It's very comfortable to just go like this, whack, whack, or whack, whatever way you choose. But get on the other side. Start learning how to do cuts from the other side, friends. You, you got to do this. Well, you don't got to do nothing. I shouldn't say that because you don't got to do nothing. You do whatever you want. But I remember when I got told by old Danny McGeffin, you're on the wrong side of the tree. I said, why is that? I don't like it over there. <laughs> he says, the hydro lines are behind you. I said, oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> so we got to put that in there. I just cut from 
became my stronger side. I don't know why. I don't know why. lean forest front so it allowed us to do what we want to there's our hinge i kept a high hinge on the bottom as i did not want that peeling off look at the root rod it's there it's all through this stand that's a bit of heel up from you know it's what's well, root rod it's actually root rot. now that i look on this cleaner stump she's root rot the start of you see you cut into these roots i bet you they'll be gunga den okay little wider strip up which that that strip friends that strip right there was on the low side of the tree was on this side so what I done is I shot between those cedars see them that one on the right and that one there on the left and watched it it had to pull itself out of this you may see this you may not it was hooked in probably took that cedar quite a ways didn't it Ron it pulled that cedar right over with it and then it broke free but if I had to cut this wood off you know, I, I didn't want to wipe out that cedar. Now, you, you see what I'm saying, friends? So if I took that took that out, for starters, you want to do that. The house is behind us. It would have smashed, rolled out of that cedar beside me and smashed up. So that would... That came out really nice. Here's the two cedars we were shooting for. This guy here and that guy right there. There we are. Clean, real clean. Right through the middle there. So that's good. That's 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 what we wanted. We didn't want no harm done there. So let's go up and take a look at something else here. Well friends, that's the end of today's video. There's another there's actually a bit of work to be done at, at Root Rots again. And those couple trees, he's got cords and cords and cords of firewood. Um so he said we could slide our little pickup in there and grab some a couple of loads of firewood out of there. So Sylvia is going to get a test. I've, I've not had wood in Sylvia yet, and I'm very excited about it. It's a little bit of a four-by boot through there, little trail, so we're going to nipple in there and get get down in there on some firewood and run some power saws that maybe we haven't run in a while, bring some axes, and get some firewood home back to these sheds. These sheds are, once they get empty, boom, there's wood in them right again. So we're going to start our farming for our firewood for the following two seasons. I'm always two years ahead. And I like to get my firewood in the winter 
because that means that the sap is down in the roots and the seasoning time on your firewood is almost cut in half, truly. Harvest your wood for milling, firewood, anything in the dead of winter if you can. Friends, thank you for watching. It was so good to be cutting again. We're going to do more of that stuff. Um, hit the thumbs up if you liked anything or I tried to kind of explain my cutting process. There's another big one to cut. It's already down. We've got another video coming up on a big one to do with lean and, and, and what side of the tree to cut from and the reason we do this and that. I like to explain stuff to you guys instead of just, like I say, rock and roll music and undercuts and back cuts. So hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Um, so anyways, friends, we'll catch you on the next one. Main thing is be kind to one another. Let's be nice. See you on the next one. Not bad, Ronnie.